Welcome into our Locked On NBA Insider Report. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens, joined by Brad Rowland from our Locked On Hawks show. And of course, it is NBA Free Agency Day, so we've got a lot of news. And one of the first things to drop today, officially, was DeJounte Murray has a new home. He's headed to Atlanta and, you know, another star to help out Trey Young. So is this what the team really needed at this point? I think so. I think it's a move that certainly helps the Hawks in a lot of different ways. And uh, for a while now, they've been talking about these two priorities. And one of them was to get another ball handler, another creator on the perimeter on offense. And the other one was to improve their backcourt defense. And DeJounte mm-hmm. Murray fits both of those things pretty perfectly. They paid a real price to get him, but he certainly checks those boxes. And, you know, he doesn't play in a super huge market, but he's ha- coming off one of his best seasons. He's averaging over 20 points. He's leading the league in steals, you know, an all-star. So how can he help, you know, free up Trey Young, but also really help this team evolve? Yeah, I think that he really does bring more creation than they've had before. And not a guy that is uh, necessarily super well-known nationally, but had a breakout season last year, was a 20-point scorer with the Spurs. He's very well-rounded. He he can attack closeouts on offense. He can rebound for a guard. He's an elite rebounder for a guard. He's a great passer as well and kind of just fills in all those gaps because Trey Young, while he's awesome, in a lot of different ways, has not had a lot of help in creation for the Hawks. And also, this allows Trey to move off the ball a little bit more. He's a great shooter and has not had really a chance to move off the ball in his career to this point on offense. And on defense, Murray really covers up for Trey Young in a lot of different ways. They've been looking for someone who can sort of handle that point of attack defense uh, that the Hawks have just been really weak at for a while with this current roster. And Murray really checks that box. He led the league in steals a season ago. So he's a playmaker defensively and really should make Trey uh, shine along with the rest of the roster. Super athletic, got a lot of length, so obviously that's helpful to have um, an addition to your team. Uh, Two years ago, the Hawks make that crazy great playoff run, and then last year, a little bit disappointing. So we knew kind of going into the season they were going to make some moves to try to change things up. What else could they address going forward now that they've added in another guard to help out? Yeah, I think they they have sort of a log jam, if you want to be kind about it, at at shooting guard now that DeJounte Murray is going to be there. They have Kevin Herter and Bogdan McDonavich, both of whom are starting caliber players that may not be able to start for this roster. And those are sort of natural pivot points, along with John Collins, who's been in a trade rumor basically for two straight years at this stage. And I personally think that Collins is a good player that they don't necessarily have to move, but the Hawks have been pretty motivated, it seems like, to move on from him. So I think the consensus is the Hawks are not done. They might have to be if they can't find anything, but they're going to be very active. This is not their own. This is not their only sort of all in move. They're going to do a lot of different things in the next couple of days. And, uh, you know, the roster can be reshaped in a lot of different ways. Really, no one is safe other than Trey and now DeJounte Murray. I think a couple of the guys that are on the, on the younger side, but the veterans could all be in a flux still. And the Hawks are definitely eager to improve their, uh, their fortunes. And this was sort of the first domino in all of that. Certainly. And they sent out a lot of picks. So now it's going to be players they'll have to send out. So we'll keep an eye on things, Brad. We appreciate you joining us. Obviously, check out Locked on Hawks wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube as well, because as Brad mentioned, there's probably a couple other shoes that are going to drop at some point as well. And I'm Kanani Stevens, your host today. You've been watching Locked on NBA.